Hello, hello. Listen, yeah, I'm frustrated. Why you might ask? Well, because I did make a video yesterday. Uh, I made the sound of the airplane, the small airplane the Shuno requested. Uh, hi Shuno. So then I realized it's like too long. The video took too s too long, and I even after cutting it. Mm, it was too long. Anyways, it's, I was like, no. Nobody's going to watch it. I don't think even Shuno will watch it. <laughs> I mean, it was too long. So I decided to just create parts, part by part. So we'll have a different part for the propeller sound, the different part for the engine sound, the different part for the, I don't know, some other tones maybe, and some effects. And yeah, I will do that in this way. I hope you're okay with this. Let me know if you're not okay with this, but I already started, so I guess we are doing it. Um, what is the first? The propeller, propeller sound. For example, we got something like this. We got something like... Uh, hold on. We got something like this. Anyways, let's create another one. <sighs> Wait. I'm not going to explain what we're going to do because as a matter of fact, as ugh, it takes time. So we are being optimal here and not taking your time. Uh huh. So initialize this guy. Mm, this like turn this off so we can create like paint our note with uh, respect towards our ears. Uh huh. And now let's see what we have right here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just turn a level of the oscillator a lot here because we just need we will need the tone. If you'll ask me, you, I will even not use oscillator at all. But the thing is, we are not going to be able to uh, modulate the pitch of the noise, so that's why we are going to do it in this way. Mm -hmm. mm, I love this tone. Okay, and then we are going to add the noise. Add the filter. I will use this type of uh, filter. Uh, 12 decibel leather low pass. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in here, resonance all the way up because we want the tone. And LF41. We are going to use like 3. Uh, times, let's say, for three reasons. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, pretty aggressively going to use these depths. That's and first to filter cutoff. Second to resonance. Uh huh. And the third one to what I wanted noise. Nice level. We're going to do in a way that we match the tone of this oscillator. Mm. I will turn up turn down this volume a bit because I'm struggling. a bit and then come back okay okay uh -huh. so 
Maybe drive a bit. Uh -huh. And maybe cut off a bit of the highs here. Uh-huh. Cool. So now the funny part. We are going to I mean all the all, all those parts were very, very funny, but the other funny part is automation. First we are going to automate the pitch. Something like this. <laughs> And then I will add. Studio One has this interesting feature. You can add different parameters here in it to track, let's say, which will not be um, removed after you export it. I mean, usually with the automations of Studio One that you do you do on the track, not inside the media track. Those ones when you export your MIDI, thinking ah. I will have it in my folders and then I will get them from my folder and use them as it was. So every little centimeter of the crafted automation will be saved. No, nothing will be saved if you'll do that way in Studio One. So <coughs> just letting you know. <laughs> uh, let's do the master gain automation here. Something like can you play with me here? Uh huh. Maybe here or something. I just did it. I just turned off the noise and evaluation because I wanted to see what we what is going to happen with the pitch of this oscillator. But I will uh, activate it again, so you you're not like what Anahit? What did you do? You, you ruined your sound. Okay, let me tell let me add others. Um nom 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 tune. Let's add the tune of the oscillator one. Here and also, I will add the actually. Hold on, let's just copy paste this here and do the same because we are kind of lazy here. <laughs> and let's add sub and do the same thing here. <laughs> if we had some resonance too. <laughs> oh sorry it was wrong. <laughs> right? at all but okay uh, you can add a lot of things here you can add effects you can add what you want to add you can add reverb but uh, let's work I will probably use um, effects in the last part of this airplane sound creation okay I'm trying to stay in the 10 minute range so I guess I will sh have to say bye um, that's it check out other videos that you might find interesting some videos I, I'm sure if you're here then you probably would find some other videos that I do because these are all okay too much talk um, check this video or this video <laughs> anyways um, have a good something in life like life and life and and yeah bye